talk to y'all about three things three of them right um y'all know over here on this channel we can get really real really real uh and really raw no condom necessary right whole lot of screaming going on <laughs> point b the point i'm trying to make is like we can get really real on this channel right and Two out of the three things I'm going to talk about, um, it's kind of gross. So, if you have a snack right now, I suggest, highly suggest, I strongly advise you push it to the side, right, until I say otherwise, right? Um, you most likely probably have, like, some food or whatever in your mouth. You're chewing on something right now. So, go ahead and, you know, get your water or your, or, or, like, you know, your drink or whatever you have to wash it down. Go ahead. I'm going to give you some couple of seconds. All right. So that should be washed down in, in your junks. Um, so one thing. And the second thing is kind of sim kind of similar to the first one. Um, number one, you ever poop and after you poop, you get some toilet paper, you wipe, you check the toilet paper, but there's nothing on the toilet paper. Like you just didn't poop. Somebody lying. Somebody's out here playing tricks on me. Cause I don't understand that. That's ha that has ha has that. Let me know if that has ha ever happened to you before. Cause that's that's happened to me before. I went to go poop. I know I pooped because I checked and there's literally shit in the toilet, right, coming from me. And I wipe with the toilet paper. And after I wipe, there's nothing there. That doesn't make any sense. I just poop. I just shit came out of my jumps. I went to wipe. And there's nothing there. Somebody's lying. Somebody's after me. Two. You ever have the urge to poop? Or like all of a sudden, you know, you hear some noises in your stomach. And you be like, oh shit, I have to shit. I have to go poop. So you haul that to the bathroom. Right, you're pretty sure you have to poop. And then once you go to the bathroom, right, you, you take you take down your jumps, right? You sit on the toilet and right when you think you're about to poop, nothing comes out but gas. Or or like you, you just fart it out. So you're telling me. The urge, the feeling of me having to poop was just, it was a lie. Like, like my stomach, my body would just lied on me. What? I literally felt and heard my stomach make all kinds of noises, all kinds of sounds. You know, sounds... That only what happened when you have to poop, before you have to poop. And so when I go to the toilet, there's, there's nothing like, n no shit comes out. It's just gas. Fuck. Three. Um, and this is random. Comment below the most, as of, as of this point. In your life. What comment below. The most disrespect. That lady. The most disrespectful. Thing. Someone has ever did to you. 
Now, you don't have to comment if you don't want to, but for me, the most disrespectful thing somebody has ever said to me, I mean, did to me, um, was they had a cigarette and they blew it right in front of my fucking face. Almost, almost, I, um, I wanted to beat the living shit out of you. That's the most disrespectful thing you can ever do to me. And, well, one of them is like, it's kind of, it's, it's very few. <clears throat> the hell? It's very few, right? But, yeah. That's what, especially because I hate cigarettes. I hate cigarettes. And I hate the way they smell. Right? So the fact that you blew that shit in my face. I wanted to beat the living shit out of you. Right then and there. It took everything in me not to do that. Jesus. Um, Now, I mean, weed. I mean, that's alright. I mean, that's cool. I've been around people, you know. Hot boxing. You feel me? Like, I've been around people that smoke weed. Right? The shit, the air just filled with fucking smoke. Now, I mean, I don't do that. I don't smoke weed or whatever. I don't smoke anything. Right? I don't I don't do any of that shit. Right? I mean nothing against people that do. Um but I'm just I'm just I don't I don't do that. But I'm fine with being around like weed. Not I mean not cigarettes. Come on. Like what come on, what you doing? Don't hey just saying. Just saying. Hey, and if you ever meet me in person and you smoke you smoke cigarettes and I just told you I hate that shit when people blow that shit in my face and you meet me in person, you that's watching, if you smoke cigarettes, being as though what I just said and you meet me in person after what I just said and you smoke and you blow that shit, I'm beating the shit out of you. I'm beating the shit out of you. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I just told you, I don't like when people do that shit. And you do that shit, I'm beating the shit out of you. I don't care if you're a fan. I don't, I don't care who you are. I don't. I'm just, be, I'm beating the shit out of you. That's very, very, very disrespectful. Just saying. All right, I've been talking for, God damn. I've been talking for almost eight minutes. Jesus. I can, I can talk my ass off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to put like a time, a time stamp in the uh, comment section so y'all can just Click that, and it should it should, it should take you to the to the uh, reaction. But let's get it. So, go. Right. Disturbing shoe or okay. take odd jobs to pay my half of the rent one day in particular i was babysitting a set of twin boys that were three years old right the mother told me she hired me because she would only hire men due to her crazy ex-husband i was confused when she told me that so i asked why what she showed me a picture of him and said not to answer the door for him don't let him in and to not let him see the kids that i mean <clears throat> what? That does that still doesn't make <laughs> that still doesn't make any sense. You only hire men because of your crazy ex boyfriend, which is a which is a <clears throat> what the fuck, <clears throat> which is a guy. I mean, I get it if you trying to like if you. Hire a man to like protect your kids from your ex, from your you know your ex boyfriend. But I'm pretty I'm a. I'm pretty sure there's some females out here. I know there's some females out here that can give your ex boyfriend the hangings, that can easily break his ankles and his kneecaps. 
I just said okay. I thought she was being dramatic, but I went along with it. After she left, the kid seemed harmless, so I told my girlfriend to come over. After that, there was a knock at the door. Ah, uh, damn. I figured it was her, so I opened the door. What? It was the ex-husband. This guy looked a lot scarier in real life than Jeez. he did in the pictures. Oh, my God. He towered over me with tattoos everywhere, including his neck, a bald head, and gold teeth. He asked to see his kids. I didn't know what to do, so I just told him, hold on, and I closed the door. I really didn't know what to do, so I called the woman, and she didn't answer. So I texted You don't know what to do? Okay, see? I know you playing games. And I know you fucking bullshitting me. You don't know what to do? A crazy motherfucker. You just knocked on the door. You opened it, not with no hesitation. No hesitation. Because you think, you thought it was your girl. See, did you go with that assuming shit? You should have been like, hello, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Are you not going to say nothing? Well, bitch, I'm not going to open the door. Point blank, period. And because you, but you, since you did open the door, you should have opened it, realized who it was, closed that shit, double locked it, triple locked it, quadruple locked it, single locked it, along with everything in the house that includes windows, vents, uh, uh, pipes. If you got a chimney, Close that shit. I can't. A garbage, di a garbage disposal. So it's disposal? D dispose? That shit. That thing that like, you put food in. In the sink. <laughs> it is. <laughs> ah, ah. The thing that you put for like. I, it's You know it's in the sink. And the thing you put the food in. It, it grinds up the food. Yeah that shit. Close that. Right, matter of fact, and close your, uh, the power sockets, you know, what else has holes? Um, bathtubs, like the little, like the drain, close that. Uh, what else? Um, can't remember. Can't remember to think of anything. But yeah, close all of that. And close your curtains, the blinds, all that shit. Still nothing. Eventually, he started knocking on the door some more. Okay. But I would talk through the door, letting him know that I can't let him in. Stop talking. Could I let the children out to see him due to the mother's request? Stop talking to him. He didn't like that too much. Oh. I stopped talking. Then the knocking stopped. And the man said, okay. But it was an okay that sounded like he was going to get me back for not letting him in. Yeah, it's that same, okay, that females get when, like, when, when, they, when, like, they want to get even, you know, like, uh, I forgot, some, one, one comedian said this, uh, he, he, he was like, uh, like, well, like, some females, like, when you get in an argument with them or whatever, right, you'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you'd be like, fuck you, bitch. And she'd be like, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, D. Ray Davis. That, that's his name. D. Ray Davis. Funny ass man. Okay. Okay. It's that, yeah, it's that, like, it's that same okay that he, that he said when, like, it's that, it's that, it's that underlining. It's that subtext. So it's like when he said okay, it was basically meant like I'm gonna find my way in this motherfucker. Okay, okay. I look outside and I see that he pulled off. Okay. I didn't call the police because he left. What? So my girlfriend texted me, and it says she'll be there in two minutes. Then a few minutes go by. And she isn't there yet. Oh. Then I see one of the twins looking out the window and he says, there's daddy. Oh, no. Nah. I look out the window and I saw the most disturbing thing you could think of. 
The man was on top of my girlfriend, stabbing her repeatedly in the side of her head with a screwdriver. Oh, shit. Her body was shaking, but she wasn't making any noise. And there was blood everywhere all over her head, face, ground, and that man. I wanted to burst out of that door to help her, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. So I called the police. The man just stood there. I know why you couldn't do that. I know exactly why you didn't go out there like a dumbass and try to and try to and try to fight that motherfucker. I know why you didn't. The power of a datus is helping mother peoples. What? Hold on, let's run it back. I don't know why I said that shit. <laughs> the oops, ouch. Okay. <laughs> See? Little shit like this. I will edit it out. I don't know why I don't. Let's run it back one more time. Hold on, wait, hold on. I'm not ready yet. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. The power of Adidas is helping motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. We coming up, baby. We doing things, baby. We saving lives, baby. Oh, we out here, baby. Hearing at the house, he never tried to escape. Just waited for the police as if he were crazy. That music, though. The twins' mother and the cops showed up at the same time. And she was hysterical, going between Spanish and English while crying. Oh. I felt numb, guilty, and ashamed that I called my girlfriend over. And she was killed. That's on you. And what? I was a coward that stayed in the house. To this day, I still feel the guilt. I would, I'd feel it for you. You did not have to do all that. You did not, come on, you did not have to do all that. You are, you are so extra. Jesus. Four years ago, when I was a senior in high school, Who the hell my is this? parents had to go on a business trip over the weekend. Who is this? They told me I could have some friends over, but no parties. They left Friday night. It was Saturday morning when I called five of my friends and said my parents had gone for the weekend. We all agreed to hang out that night at my place. We invited our girlfriends to... So there were 12 of us all together. I got plenty of snacks and drinks and even ordered pizza and wings. I was hanging out with my girlfriend in front of the pool, watching my friend swim. Not everyone was swimming. Some were relaxing or just making out. I had to use the bathroom, so I started to walk to the door of my house. As I was walking... I heard leaves getting quietly crushed in the bushes. No, you didn't. I really didn't pay much attention to it, though. Oh, my God. When I finished up in the bathroom... There it is. There it is. They, they, that, that, that's when... Everything just goes downhill. From that, that point right there, that's when everything just goes downhill. Because you... You, you, you acknowledge... A fucker. But you don't do nothing about it. You don't say nothing about it. You don't do shit. Except. Keep keep going about your business. As if you didn't just acknowledge. That fuck up that just happened. That bullshit that just happened. So with all due respects. Fuck you. And all. All. all every, every last bit of you. Just. Just, just fuck you. I don't, yeah. At that point, downhill. Just it's like it's like the Superman in Six Flags. You going up, up, up. You hit that top. You go straight down. But instead of like going down and then you just going down, like down, 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 all the way down, down, just down, down. I'm going down, 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 down. What? I looked at the time. It was about 12.30. Right. I was getting tired, so when I went back outside, I told everybody that it was pretty late, and I didn't want neighbors complaining about anything. Okay. It was about 1 in the morning when everyone left. Right. 
I was brushing my teeth and I looked out the window. I saw something in my pool. Damn. It looked like a human silhouette. I didn't think much of it. I thought I was just seeing things because yeah. of the lack of sleep. Fucking puppy. I fell asleep and woke up at about 9.30. I went to the bathroom and took a quick glance out the window and back. But something caught my eye, so I looked outside. I saw a man standing in my pool, facing away from my house. He was tall and bald. He looked nothing like any of my friends. I was so confused, so I went outside without even using the bathroom. Hey, Nick, um... Insert, uh, that, that llama, or whatever the hell that is, that is, insert that shit right now. Because that, 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 right, that clip that I just added, or like, yeah, that I just put in here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start using that clip when... When, when, when people, it's just, they're just dumbasses. Or like, they just completely miss all of the red flags. Hold on. Because I know, I know it's been a minute since I, I, you know, I showed y'all some. Hold on now. Hold on now. I got you though. It's just, I'm going to start using that clip with the llama or whatever the hell that is when motherfuckers miss all of the red flags. Huh? All of them. That was kind of sus. I'm right. I walked over to the pool, yelling at that person trying to confront him. Dumbass. He didn't even move. Wow. I walked closer, and then I got goosebumps all over my body. A scary thought went through my mind. I walked closer again so I could see his face. Once I stood in front and looked at him, I screamed so loud the whole town probably heard me. In my pool, was it? Yeah, they probably heard you. I guarantee you, they didn't do shit about it though. Because every every person that heard you scream at the top of your lungs knew that you missed all of those red flags. So those people that heard you scream was like, "No, nah, we're not gonna do nothing," because he missed all all of those red flags. So that's on them. Whatever happens to him is on him. We're not, we're not going to do shit. We're not going to help him. Nope. Not today. Not tonight. Not ever. That's on him. I'm going back to sleep now. Good luck, brother. Because I sure, I sure, I sure, hell, I sure as hell wouldn't. I would not help you. Well, so I don't care if I'm your... You're right, like your next door neighbor. I'm not helping you. I'm not. Human taxidermy with no eyes. Jesus. I screamed, running back to my house, and for some reason, I turned around while I was running. I saw someone in a black hoodie with the hood up and his head tilted a bit down. I locked all the doors and called the cops. When I was on the phone, I decided to make sure all my windows were locked. I got to a window and came face to face with the hooded man. He was so creepy looking. He had a dirty face with a messy beard, but what really stood out was his smile. It was so big and psychotic. He was missing teeth, and the ones he had were yellow and some were chipped. I ran away and locked myself in the bathroom. 
The cops came in about five minutes and searched my yard and house. Nothing was found, and there was nothing left behind. The man and the taxidermy were gone. I told the cops everything and what the man looked like. The cops said that when they found him, they would let me know. And here I am, four years later, without a notice. I still live in the same house with my parents to this day, and I fear that that man is probably still out there. But what really kills me is that he could show up at my house again at any time. Yeah, no, nah, he's... Yeah, no, nah, he's still out there with a whole pack of condoms just for you, player. Pause. I'm 30 years old, and this story took place when I was 13. My mother was a single mom, and she had to work two jobs. Damn. She worked at a grocery store in the morning and a bar at night. Right. So I was home alone a lot, but it was okay because I was used to it. I could cook myself some dinner and walk back and forth to school. I was a pretty responsible kid for my age. I don't, mm, uh, I'm hungry as hell. And I'm trying, I'm trying to hold on. This is why, and yeah, because I have food waiting for me after this video is over. And I don't want like any popcorn because I don't want that to like ruin my appetite. It's not going to ruin it. Because I eat a lot. But I'm just saying, like, the food that I have waiting on me right now is hella good. And I want to savor. Sa savor? Savory. Sa something. That, that, that word. Every moment of what I'm about to eat. And I don't want anything to get in, in the way of that. <laughs> um, but yeah. I mean, yeah. Nah. You seem, yeah. You seem like a pretty responsible kid. Except for that walking shit. To and from school. Yeah, no. Nah, you mess me with that. A lot can happen between you walking to and from school. A lot can happen. A lot. One night, I was watching TV while eating ice cream, and someone knocked at the front door. <laughs> I was wondering who it could be as my friends never came out this late, and my mom would always use her key to get in. I opened the door, and it was a man standing there with his hands in his pockets. I said, hello. He replied, hello, young lady. Are your parents home? Stupidly. I said, no. Oh, my God. My mom isn't home right now. You have to come back tomorrow. Oh, no. Nah. He then said with a surprised smile on his face, oh. Oh. You're all alone, huh? What? Pause. I said, uh. Yeah, I am. Sus? He replied with, Okay, young lady. Have a nice night. Don't get into any trouble. Oh, no. Nah. He then walked away and I closed the door. He seemed friendly, but also weird at the same time. What I'm saying? He was a little funny looking, though. Right. He was balding and had 70s style glasses on, with a mustache and bags under his eyes like he never slept. Oh, pedophile. About 10 minutes passed, and there was another knock at the door. Why did that scare me? I got me? to answer it. But before I opened the door, something told me to put the chain on. Gee, yeah. I don't know why, but my gut told me to do that. Nah. It wasn't your gut, player. It was the power of Adidas. Oh, we out here, baby. We saving lives, baby. We doing things, baby. We out here. Changing lives, baby. Protecting, baby. Oh, we doing bigger and better things, baby. We not selfish no more, baby. We out here. Baby. It was strange because we really didn't use the chain. It's, uh, but I'm glad I did because as soon as I opened the door, it was pushed open. Oh, no. Nah. But abruptly stopped by the chain. Oh, all right. Before I could even say or do anything, I looked through the crack of the door to see the same man again. And he said in a startled voice, Oh, 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 hey there. Oh, oh, oh. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. The fuck? 
as he stuttered. It was like he knew he failed getting inside the house and tried to play off this any suspicion by speaking quickly and making it seem like he didn't just obviously try coming into the house. I said, I'm fine, thanks, and I shut the door. At that time, I didn't really understand the situation or the dangers of what just happened. But still, I was a bit freaked out and wanted my mom to come home soon. An hour went by, and I was still thinking about what happened, so I started to watch a movie, trying to keep my mind occupied. When I heard... Hey, let me make it quick. Oh, no. I gotta tell you something. This was the scariest situation I've ever been in in my life. Jesus. It was the man once again. He was talking through the letterbox. I shouted, leave me alone. The letterbox closed. And the man started banging on the front door, screaming, let me in, you little shit. While slamming the front door handle up and down, trying to get in. I just stood back crying, praying he doesn't get in. He eventually gave up and left. My mom came home about 30 minutes later just to find me crying. And I told her everything that happened. We told the police, but they never found this guy. I look back and I think how grateful I am that I had the feeling to put the chain on the door. I hate to think what that man would have done if he had managed to get in. You gotta chill with these sound effects, Mo. Jesus. female and this story happened about two weeks ago i was at a bus stop after spending the day at my friend's house waiting to go home i sat scrolling through instagram on my phone as i waited i would look up every now and then to check to see if my bus was coming or to see if anyone else was around i noticed a man across the street looking in my direction oh i didn't think much of it in that moment um i i mean i would i, I mean you say you notice a man looking in your direction from across the street. Most likely, he's looking directly at you. Do you know how sus that is? You know how weird that shit is? You ever been in a situation like that? You know, like, you 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 know, you, you, you just mind your business, right? And you just randomly look up and you just see somebody just staring you down. And then when you look away or whatever, and you look back and that motherfucker is still staring at you. Do you know how weird and awkward and sus that is? It's all of the above, player. Like, oh my God, that's weird, bro. Jay, ah. Uh, oh, I've been in a situation like that before. That's... That makes me really uneasy. Like, that makes me... I don't like that shit. I don't. I don't. Especially if, like, you not cute. Or you don't have a body. That just makes it worse. I'm looking at my phone. And after about two minutes, I look up again to see the man is still standing there staring at me. I was thinking this was weird. And I try not to pay attention to him. And was hoping my bus would turn up soon. After three minutes of nervously looking through my phone, trying to ignore the strange man, I glanced up a third time to see that he wasn't there anymore. Oh no! no. I let out a small sigh of relief. Five minutes go by, and someone tapped me on my shoulder. Oh, get the fuck! I turned around to see that it was the creepy man oh, that was watching me from earlier. Damn! He said, "Got a light." What? With a bent cigarette in his mouth. Also grinning with his yellow teeth. All of these motherfuckers around here. All of them. All of these people around here. And you just gonna ask me, do you have a light? Do you have a light? What about the 10, 15 motherfuckers that just passed you? On your side of the street. You wasn't gonna ask them? You just had to ask me, huh? Huh? You just had to ask me? Really? No, nah, I don't have a light. How about you use a hot ass breath as a light? Fuck. I replied nervously. 
no, I, I don't smoke. I bet you don't. <laughs> gay, 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 what? He let out a quiet chuckle. I didn't know what to think of that, but he was making me very uncomfortable now. Right. He stood by me at the bus stop and proceeded to light his cigarette with a match as he walked about 15 feet from me. I wonder why he would ask me for a light if he had matches. Maybe it was just some excuse to talk to me. Oh, no. About a minute passed until he spoke again. While smoking, he said, Been a long time since I've had some tail. He took another puff of his cigarette and continued. Okay. Nah. Okay. So? Well, well I mean, what? Why are you telling me that? How about you go get some? Don't look at me like that. You, you're weird, sus, pedophile, weird, awkward ass. Don't look at me like that. You want some tail? Go get some. There's about three, four, five bitches over there down the street. I can see them. They, they look like they ready. Go, yeah, there you go. Right down the street. Don't fucking, don't, don't do that. Don't, nah, don't look at me like that. Ah, you got it. Back the fuck up. Back up before I do something. Back up. Hey, player. Back up. I'm I'm so... Hey, stop before I break both your kneecaps and your ankles. Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm tired. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you'll do just fine. Oh, shit. He threw his cigarette to the ground and then turned towards me really fast. My heart was beating out of my chest and I was breathing heavily, going into fight or flight mode. That's when I saw the lights of my bus pull around the corner. The man saw the lights and ran off. I waved the bus down in a panic. I was so scared of what could have happened to me. Thank God the bus showed up when it did. Yeah, thank God. God is the only person you need to thank. And Jesus. Ah, uh, this story or stories makes made me miss how much I really like miss just like reacting to like stories like these. Um, so, but I mean, it's it's just y'all have to understand like it's hard to please everybody, you know. And I get it. Uh, I haven't reacted to like stories like these in a while, um, but best believe I have not forgotten about you know. Uh, you know, um, Nightmare Files or Darkness Prevails or Unit 522 or like the Mosquito Guy. I don't know if I said that right. I mean, no disrespect when I say that. Um, but I haven't forgot about them. It's just, it's just hard to like please everybody. Um, but you cannot deny, even though. You know, Nightmare Files is kind of like, uh, hold on, how many, was it Nightmare Files that did that? Hold on. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, Nightmare Files. He has, what, 40,000 subscribers? That's a lot of subscribers. Um... Yeah, that's a lot. But, I mean, you know, like, some of the channels that I react to, they're, they have bigger numbers. But, I mean, small numbers, big numbers, content, great content is great content. And you cannot deny that Nightmare Files has great content. And if you keep this up, Nightmare Files, you're going to go far. You're going to increase your views, your numbers, all of that. You know, because you have some great, great content. Um, fucking love this story or these four stories. I love, like, like all your videos. Um, 
but you might you may need to watch out like some videos because uh just watch about just watch how you edit your videos because sometimes you know some of your videos or some people's videos may may not get monetized or like demonetized or whatever so just watch out about like certain shit in your videos um but yeah there's no denying nightmare files is definitely up there with like some of the top peoples just saying just throwing it out there um but That, um, I forgot which story it was, number two or whatever, when, with the, uh, the story where, uh, he was babysitting it, like, the, like, the two kids with the crazy ex-boyfriend. See, I think old dude could have prevented, uh, his girlfriend's, like, death, because I don't know if she was already on her way. No, she wasn't. Because he knew, old dude knew about the crazy ex-boyfriend before his girl arrived. So he could have easily notified or text or called or whatever, right? His girl and be like, hey, uh, you should just stay home for tonight because there's, there's a chance a crazy person may come to the house. And I don't want you to get caught up in that. So you could have done something like that. Um, but, I mean, I get it. He was bullshitting. He was playing games, so it's only natural that, you know, he's fucking up. Um, but, yeah, man. Jesus, this. Yeah, this is really good. Yo, man, hey, Nightmare Files, you gotta chill with them sound effects. Because you be getting, like, yeah, you got me a couple of times in this video. Jesus. But, um, yeah. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, um, do more stories like I used to. Um, but again, y'all, y'all have to understand, like, it's, it's hard to please everybody. And I feel like the bigger you get, the harder it is, the harder it is to like please please everybody. But I'm trying, I'm trying, you know. So yeah, just give me that. I'm trying. Uh, but with all that being said, keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy, my family. That trick, shout it, she got that trick, she got that trick, she got that trick, she got that trick, she got that trick. Trip, 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 trip,